Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. And in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys my 4K settings that I use in DaVinci Resolve. So first thing you wanna do is after you insert your clip is you wanna go over to project settings. And then from here, you wanna make sure that your timeline resolution is the resolution that you're gonna render your video in. So for, for this video, we're gonna do 4K. Um, for a 4K render, it's 3840 by 2160. So once you change your timeline resolution, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure your playback frame rate is the same frame rate as your video. So this clip that I currently have inserted, my frame rate is 23.976. Okay, after you change that, what you wanna do is you wanna go over to save. And then from here, you wanna click on the rocket. And then from here, you wanna change your file name. So for this video, we're gonna just do test. Once you change your file name, you want to choose a location for your video. Okay, once you choose your location, what you want to do is you want to scroll down to format and you want to change format to MP4. Your codec is H.264. Then once you change that, what you want to do is you want to scroll down a little bit more and then you want to go to resolution. Once you're on resolution, what you want to do is you want to make sure that this resolution is the same as your timeline resolution. So our timeline resolution was 4K, which was 3840 by 2160. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is the same as that. Same thing when it goes to your frame rate. You want to make sure your frame rate is the same as your frame rate under project settings. And then once you get done with those two, what you want to do is you want to scroll down a little bit more until you get to quality. Um, for you, it might be on automatic, but what you want to do is you want to change it to restrict to and make it to 100,000. Your encoding profile, turn this on high. And then for your advanced settings, um, you can go ahead and copy what I currently have. I think by default, yours will look like this, but if it don't look like this, then you can go ahead and copy what I currently have. And once you get done copying that, what you wanna do is you wanna click add to render queue. And then once you add to render queue, you wanna click render all. There you go. You give it some time, your video will render and it will save in the destination that you chose for your location. And once it's saved, you can open it up, you can play it, watch it, see how you like it. If you like it, you can upload it to YouTube. So this is a quick tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you. If so, um, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.